is Tech Support Gone Bad, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to install WordPress blog plugins onto your WordPress website or blog. Um, if, for those of you who don't know what WordPress is, basically a wor it's a website script that transforms your website into a blogging type of website. And uh, yes, I do have a tutorial on how to install WordPress in the first place, so I'll have the link to the tutorial in the video description, so just click the link. Go to the tutorial and watch it before you watch this tutorial because obviously your website needs to be a WordPress website before you attempt to install WordPress plugins on it. So with that being said, let's open up my dashboard and uh, just find your way into your dashboard. It should be your website slash wp-admin, in this case octogeek.com, my website slash wp-admin. Find your dashboard and then click on plugins, obvious enough. So once you click on plugins, you just want to click on add new. And then that's going to take you to the um, place where you're going to upload the actual plugin. And then click upload. Now at this point, if you don't have a plugin to upload, you want to go to Google. Just search WordPress plugins. And then just um, the first page you're going to see, obviously, is wordpress.org slash extent slash plugins. That's the official page for WordPress plugins. But there's also going to be a couple other, well, actually a lot of other websites with a bunch of other WordPress plugins that you could use. So just go ahead and download the plugin. Make sure that when you save it, save it as a .zip. You don't want it to, um, you want it to be compressed. You want it to be a .zip file, so it's just one file. You don't want it to be a folder with a bunch of files in there. So keep it compressed. Save it to your desktop or save it to your computer, and then head back to this page. Press browse and then upload the plugin. So I'm gonna head into my plugins folder on octogeek.com and I'm going to upload a Twitter plugin. So let's do here it is Twitter widget install now. Speaking of Twitter, um, before I activate the plugin, speaking of Twitter, I do have a Twitter for both Textbook on Bad and Octogeek. I'll have the links to my Twitters in the video description. Um, Twitter.com slash TSGB and Twitter.com slash OctoGeek.com. So follow both of them. I'll be putting a lot of new stuff on my Twitter. So I'm going to click Activate Plugin, which is what you want to do too. Click Activate Plugin, and it's going to activate the plugin so you can use it. And just like that, it says Plugin Activated, and it's going to show your plugin right there, Twitter widget. And that's it for it. That's basically it. You uploaded the widget or the plugin and what you want to do to basically finish it is click on settings and then um, just mess around with the settings actually um, I, I see right here that it doesn't have the settings for the uh, for the plugin I just uploaded well the reason being is because good time to tell you guys not all plugins will go under the settings area most plugins will so you want to click on settings and check over there for the plugin first but some plugins will go in other areas for example this plugin you have to click on appearance and go to widgets and then that's where you edit the um, thing from see I have a Twitter widget so I just click and drag that onto my main sidebar and this is where I could do the editing from my account uh, octogeek.com and title I'm gonna title tw Twitter updates and I'm gonna show five and press save and just like that I just uploaded the, the the, um, the plugin and I just activated it in my main sidebar and also keep in mind that not all plugins will be available to use on your sidebar and but you could use them other ways each plugin basically differs and you just want to read the readme file for the plugin to get like an idea of how the plugin works so now let's take a look at my website and there you go right there Twitter updates all of the updates are five of them right there and that is it for this video hope you guys enjoyed it it's as simple as that that's why I love WordPress so much um, if you like this video just please take a look at my website or my youtube channel at textbookonbad.com that'll redirect you to my youtube channel and subscribe to my videos if you like them and also take a look at my website at octogeek.com and it's basically a graphic designing blog. You'll find tutorials, inspiration, and sometimes even giveaways on the website. And don't forget to follow me on my Twitter's account. All the links will be in the video descriptions. Thank you guys for watching this video, and until next time, I'll see you guys later.